Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very intriguing problem for you all today. Uh, this one is part of the Elmo math contest. So it's a math contest as part of the summer math program in the US where they try to train students for the International Math Olympiad. Uh, and it has a very silly website. So if you'd like to see it um, in the description of my video, I'm gonna sh I have a link to it. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So we have an acute scalene triangle ABC. H is the orthocenter. AD is the altitude, where D is on BC. M is the midpoint of BC. And then uh, D prime is the reflection of D over M. And then what we do is we draw the line D prime H and we let it intersect the parallel through A to BC at point P. And we let the circumcircles of AHP and BHC meet at a point G. And we want to show that angle MHG is 90 degrees. All right. So I'm going to start off with a trick that I'd seen before and that I feel like greatly simplified the problem. Um, so I am going to hide this circle through BH and C temporarily because I'm actually going to show that if we draw the point so that BACJ is a parallelogram, then I want to show that J actually lies on the circle. Um, so I don't want to draw in that point right now because it'll make it look like I defined it to be on the circle. Um, so I'm going to hide the circle and then I'm going to draw the point J so that uh, ACJB is a parallelogram. And I claim that J lies on that circle. So in other words, I claim that BHCJ is cyclic. Um, so I had just seen this before. And I'm going to give a proof um, that's probably the easiest proof, although it's not the proof that I first figured out when I first saw this theorem. Um, but the reason why we're constructing this parallelogram is because we want to make use of the fact that M is the midpoint of BC. And this will let us do that because it means A, M, and J are collinear. All right. So how do we prove that B, H, C, J is cyclic? Um, well, I'm going to in fact show that angle HBJ and angle HCJ are both 90 degrees, so that would prove it. All right, so I'm going to do a little angle chase here. So we have angle HBJ, it's equal to angle HBC plus angle CBJ. And then CBJ is an alternate interior angle with ACB. So this is angle HBC plus angle ACB. But those are two of the three angles in the triangle BEC. And so they have to add up to 180 minus the third angle. And so they add up to 180 minus angle BEC. And BEC is a right angle, so that's just 90 degrees. So we know that HBJ is 90 degrees. And then similarly, we have to have HCJ is 90 degrees. And so that means that HBJC has to be cyclic. So I think I forgot to write out here that HCJ is also 90 degrees. Um, but if both of them are 90 degrees, since the opposite angles of the quadrilateral add up to 180, we have HBJC is cyclic. Uh, so we can draw the circle through those four points. All right. Okay. And once we know that that's cyclic, well, uh, like I mentioned, A, M, and J have to be collinear since the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, All right? So I'm going to draw that line through A, M, and J. Um, and so my next step is I'm actually going to show that P, G, and J are collinear. Uh, so it's not too hard to, to show this, and it has to be true because angle H, GJ is 90 degrees, uh, that's easy to see, and angle HGP also has to be 90 degrees. Um, so angle HGP, it has to be 180 minus angle HAP, but that's clearly 90 degrees because AD is perpendicular to BC and AP is parallel to BC. Okay, so angle HGP is 90 degrees and angle HGJ also has to be 90 degrees. Uh, so that means P, G, and J are collinear. 
Uh, we know that HDJ has to be 90 degrees because it intercepts the same arc as HBJ. So I'm going to write this out. So angle HGJ is equal to angle HBJ, which is 90 degrees. So if, if HGP is 90 degrees and HGJ is 90 degrees, then since they add up to 180, that means that PG and J have to be collinear. So we can draw a line through those three points. All right. So where do we go from here? Um, we haven't used yet the fact that D prime is the reflection of D over M. So we have to use that somehow. And so here's going to be my strategy. Uh, so ultimately, we want to show that angle MHG is 90 degrees. Uh, we know that HG is perpendicular to PJ from the information above. So essentially, we want to show that MH is parallel to PJ. All right. Um, so we know that M is uh, the midpoint of AJ. So if we can find a midpoint of AP, and we can show that the line through that point in M is parallel to PJ, um, well, actually, we know that because the line through M in this midpoint is parallel to PJ. So we'd want to show it passes through H. But that clear that has to be true. Um, because HDD prime is similar to triangle HAP. Okay, so I'm going to say this, uh, restate this in one uh, different way. So HDD prime, it's a right angle, it's a right triangle, and so is triangle HAP, and they both share this vertical angle right here, so they have to be similar. So if M is the midpoint of DD prime, that means if we draw the line HM, it has to bisect AP also. Since HM bisects DD prime, if we extend it in the other direction to intersect AP, it has to also bisect that. Um, that's because um, corresponding parts of uh, similar triangles are similar. So um, Basically, this line HM, whatever angle it makes with HD, since it makes the same angle with HA in the triangle HAP, it has to cut the segment AP in the same ratio. So I'm going to write this out. Um, this is what I mentioned before. So PJ has to be perpendicular to GH. Uh, that's because we showed angle HGJ uh, is 90 degrees. All right, so now I'm going to draw that line HM, and I'm going to let it cut. Uh, the segment AP at a point Q, okay, and uh, like I mentioned, we can show that Q is the midpoint of PA because M is the midpoint of DD prime. Uh, so I'm going to write this out. So since AP is parallel to BC, uh, HDD prime has to be similar to triangle HAP, and so the, the point Q on triangle HAP corresponds to the point M on triangle HDD prime, and so it also has to be the midpoint of AP. Uh, so I'm gonna write this out. So since HM bisects DD prime, HQ has to bisect AP. Um, so I guess technically to fully prove it, uh, you would have to write out a few more ratios um, but it's it's fairly clear from the diagram that, that that would have to be the case, that if M is the midpoint of DD prime, then Q has to be the midpoint of AP. All right. And so now uh, we, we're essentially there now because uh, now that we know that M, H, and Q are collinear, um, since PJ was parallel to GH, that means that MQ has to be parallel to GH. Okay. So we have PQ equals QA, AM is equal to MJ. Uh, that's clear because the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. And so QM uh, is a mid-segment in triangle APJ, and so it has to be parallel to PJ, okay? So QM is parallel to PJ, but we know that PJ is perpendicular to GH. So that means that QM has to be perpendicular to GH. Um, so since PJ is perpendicular to GH and QM is parallel to it, it also has to be perpendicular to GH. And so another way of saying that is that angle MHG has to be 90 degrees and that solves the problem. So this was a fun one. 
Um, the key in my solution was that fact that point J lies on this circumcircle. Uh, so if I didn't know that beforehand, it probably would have taken me a little longer to solve it. Um, but it's a fact worth memorizing. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.